Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I explain how to stop Microsoft OneDrive from opening on startup. Microsoft OneDrive is a popular cloud storage service that comes pre-installed on Windows. However, many users do not like OneDrive to open automatically on startup, and it is quick and easy to prevent OneDrive from running on startup. This gives you more flexibility and helps your computer resources work efficiently. And to disable OneDrive from automatically opening, when you log in, right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Once the Task Manager opens, click on the Startup tab, located at the top of the window. Here you will find a list of applications that open automatically when you log into Windows. Among these applications, you will find Microsoft OneDrive. Select the application and click the Disable button from the bottom, so that it is prevented from automatically opening on startup of the computer. This is a very easy way to prevent OneDrive from opening automatically. There is another way through the settings, click the start menu and select settings. And from the settings page, click on apps. From here you can manage the applications on your computer. Click on startup on the left side. And on the other side, you will find the applications that start automatically. Search for the Microsoft OneDrive application and click the option to disable the automatic start of Microsoft OneDrive. And with these steps, Microsoft OneDrive will no longer start automatically, and it will not run in the background, allowing you not to waste your computer's resources, and thus use your computer's resources optimally, and also accomplish your tasks faster, and also ensure that the computer does not slow down at startup. Controlling the programs that open at startup improves your Windows 10, and thus unnecessary programs running. In the background slow down your windows and drain valuable resources, and despite disabling OneDrive, you can use it when you want to access or sync files, as you can search for it in the start menu, and click on it to run it. Thank you for watching. I hope the video is useful to you. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.